Now I will demonstrate the right turn shortening technique. I also call this the B2 technique. If you want to keep things simple and only want to stick with one insertion technique, this is the one you should try to practice. You have to understand that this is not an end loop or a loop formation technique, but this is actually a slight push and stretching of the sigmoid colon followed by a sufficient maneuvering of the scope tip with your left hand up, down, right, left knobs, finding the correct lumen opening to descending colon. At the same time, you're applying torque to the floppy endoscope with your right hand, and the pivot point of the endoscope tip gradually changes, and your right hand torquing force makes the scope tip advance further into the descending colon. During this maneuver, the stretched sigmoid colon collects onto the colonoscope and the endoscope straightens out the sigmoid colon. I use this technique whenever I can't pass through the sigmoid with A technique or the B1 technique. Now I will try the right turn shortening technique with the Mikoto simulator. I will use advanced two settings for this. Always reset the colon shape to the original position. And start the practice. Insert the colonoscope into the rectum. Always try to keep it to the right. Now the lumen's opening up to the right side with the left angle. Now it's coming to the left, so left torque, up angle, left hand. Try to pick up this fold. Now it's opening up to the right. You can follow the lumen to the right. Again, now it's coming to the left. Suction, left. Now, I find a point where I can't really straighten out the colon by myself, and I'm going to try to gently push towards the sigmoid descending junction when the lumen is opening up to the right side. And this is going to be a little painful for the patient. And then collect the colonoscope with the right torquing and shortening maneuver like this. Now the sigmoid colon is straight. And now I'm in the descending colon. Now advance further into the mid transverse colon. Left up. Find opening to the hepatic flexure. Suction and enter the ascending colon, reaching the cecum. Okay, now I will check my score. Always enter your name. As we see here, again, the elongation, as you can see from this grid, the horizontal plane has been elongated here, also the vertical plane. So the lumen has been pushed this way, also this way. 
And also we hit the pressure sensor twice. That's why I lost a couple of points, but still sufficiently managed to shorten the sigmoid colon quickly. So even though I pushed a little, I got 87 points. So this is all the information that you get out of the Mikoto, your whole procedure. First of all, the information from the endoscope, the lumen. And next, how I hold the endoscope, how I'm torquing, how I hold the left hand and right hand. And also the grid shows here how much colon I've been stretching out. This is the horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane elongation. So this is how you get graded for your entire colonoscopy score. And we also have the score history is marked over here. As you could see, you could get your historical scoreboard. This is all the information that you get from this Mikoto simulator, which can be used for very sufficient self-training.